Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, The Biology Key. In the previous video, I have already been talking about the energy flow in an ecosystem, in which we have studied about the food chain and the food web. Basically, these stages which takes place from the producers to the decomposers involves various animals. What exactly happens? The producers are eaten by the primary consumers like goat, rabbit, etc. These primary consumers are again eaten by the secondary consumers. Secondary consumers are then eaten by the tertiary consumers. And the omnivores are nothing but the human beings as they are mixed. They can eat the uh, producers also as well as the animals also. So they are an omnivores and they come in between the primary and the secondary consumers. We have also studied about the decomposers which are nothing but the bacteria and various other microbes. These helps in the degradation of the dead and decaying matter which is left over after the plants and animals die. What exactly is going on in this food cycle? This overall process which happens are called as the tropical level. So let us see what are the tropical level. This is nothing but the energy pyramid. Each level in the food chain is called as the tropical level. A tropical level is the steps at which a organism obtain its food in the chain. The amount of matter and energy gradually decreases from producers at lowest level to top consumers at the highest level. What this exactly means? Producers. These plants undergo photosynthesis because of which they produce glucose and which is helped in the development of the plants. Now these plants which you can see is eaten by the herbivores. So the energy which the plants are developing is not exactly going to the herbivores. It is reducing a bit and then it is coming to the herbivores. So this is the level which are called as the first tropical level. Then the herbivores are eaten by the carnivores and they also get energy which is much lesser than the herbivores therefore they are called as the secondary or you can say second tropical level and followed by third tropical level suppose the plants are getting 10,000 kilocalories mm -hmm. so when these herbivores are eating these plants out of these they are getting only 1000 kilocalories rest of the energy is taken off in the form of heat this herbivores when is eaten by the carnivores they again gets only 100 kilocalories <coughs> rest of the calories is being used up in the form of heat omnivores get even lesser which is 10 kilocalories so what is exactly happening as the tropical level is increasing the amount of energy decreases this is what is called as the pyramid of energy then the second one is the pyramid of energy in an aquatic ecosystem. The same thing is present in water also. We all know that aquatic ecosystem is also very rich in diversity. Even that needs to be balanced. So how it is balanced? What exactly happened? The same chain goes on in the water itself. Here the phytoplankton is nothing but an algae which is autotropic means they itself prepare their food. Now this phytoplankton is eaten by the zooplankton. Zooplankton are nothing but the heterotrophs. These heterotrophs eat the phytoplankton. 
the zooplankton are very very small these zooplankton are heterotrophic in nature that means they cannot prepare their own food therefore they rely on the phytoplankton therefore the phytoplankton as it is having 10000 kilo calories after eaten by the zooplankton the zooplankton only gets 1000 kilo calories rest of the calories is been released out then comes the fish the fish gets only 100 kilo calories because this fish comes later on after the zooplankton it never destroys it passes from it changes from one form to the other so the same thing is happening as it is going upwards to the various tropical level the energy also keeps on decreasing this fishes are eaten by the human beings and therefore they get very very less kilo calories which is only 10 kilo calories the thing what is happening here is as i've told you the energy decreases one more thing which is happening along with this is that apart from the energy the number of organism is also decreasing the phytoplankton is very great in number we cannot even imagine in a small bulk we can get thousands and millions of phytoplanktons so the number of the organism is also decreasing in this pyramid as it is going from the lower level to the higher level so we can say that number of organism also decreases decreases so this was all about the pyramid of energy